Okay, Let, let's talk a little bit about batteries, because this is a, a very large expense that gets added on to storage-based systems. Um, and, and this is actually from uh, a company called Relyon. Uh, they produce lithium batteries, um, LFP, which is lithium iron phosphate, which is a good, a good chemistry for lithium. But what I want you to see here is a couple things. Number one is if you did a 50% depth of discharge, they would, they would imply that this would last for 23,500 cycles or 64 years of daily use. And that, that just isn't reality. Um, so what, what is reality is that you'll get about 80% or, you know, after about 85%, it'll just, it'll just drop off like a rock. Um, so, you know, that, that's, uh, we, we ended up spending about over $200,000 in battery research and testing. And we tested LFP, we tested uh, lithium iron, uh, which is NMC, we tested uh, wet cell batteries, uh, regular AGMs, as well as a new technology called carbon AGMs. So um, another, so, so lithium is expensive um, and it has a lot of hype because of these, these kind of charts that saying I can, I can discharge the battery 100% every day and it won't care. Well, that's not true either. You'll see that this, is a, this red is 100% depth of discharge versus 80% versus 50%. So the less you deeply cycle lithium batteries, the more cycles you will get out of them. That's true of any battery, whether it's NMC or lithium or uh, lead acid or carbon agents. The, the less you cycle, the more cycles you will get out of it. Um, but so you, you, won't, you won't see this. There's a big drop off in terms of after about 85% capacity, they drop off very rapidly, almost like a cliff. Um, in addition, lithium, you can't change the chemistry of it. It's, it, it is very sensitive to temperatures near freezing. Um, that's why some batteries have, have implemented uh, electric heaters inside of them. Um, because if you get them down you know, below 40 degrees Fahrenheit, this battery that would you normally get about you know, anywhere from 2,500 to, to 8,000 cycles out of can be as low as 100 cycles. And, and that's, that's a huge waste of your money. Um, so, so you don't want to get them, you want to keep them warm, not, not cold. And then also the BMS reliabilities have been challenging, especially for us as a battery-based inverter because our, our, our inverter is so powerful that it can draw a lot of power out of the BMS. You know, it can draw 200 amps of battery power continuously and 400 amps peak. So, so we have um, managed to find a lot of BMS uh, failures or, or reliability challenges. Um, so here's the, the, the summary of our, our testing results. You know, uh, this is the lithium iron phosphate you saw earlier. You know, real world cycles out of it are somewhere between uh, 5,000 and 7,200. Um, but the cost is very high. So you, you want to look at really the cost per cycle. And this is a 50% depth of discharge. Um, and you know, normal batteries are pretty expensive because basically they're they're high, they're expensive cost per cycle because their cycle count is very low, um, only about 500 cycles, uh, maybe maybe a thousand on the wet cells if you take very good care of them. That that translates into about only one and a half years of off grid use or cycling, or about seven years of use when you're on grid. Um, the NMC batteries, these are things like uh, LG Chem and Panasonic and, and Tesla. Um, they oversize the batteries um, so, and have good ba battery management systems. So you can tend to get about seven years out of them or, or maybe squeeze out a little bit more. Um, but their cost per cycle is, is still uh, high. Um, it's definitely higher compared to LFP. Um, and if, by the way, if you're, we're battery agnostic. If you want to use lithium, that's, that's fine. It's no problem. I would simply suggest to you uh, LFP for the numbers of cycles. And if you're, if you're on a tropical island, lithium is a great solution because it, it's gonna, it's not, you're gonna, not going to experience cold temperatures that will reduce the cycle count. Um, and, and that's the biggest killer. Uh, but there is another solution that's only about three years old called uh, partially charged carbon or carbon AGMs. And they, they basically enhance, they reduce the sulfation of the battery. So it's able to get four 
to five times as many cycles out of the battery and get about 6.2 or six years off grid or about 12 years on grid use. So they do take up space. Um, that was this picture here earlier. Uh, this is about a two foot by four foot cube um, for 34 kilowatt hours. However, their cost per cycle and their overall cost is, is very, very uh, attractive. Um, you can expand the battery size if you, uh, later, and it's only a three-year-old technology, so odds are this will only improve. So I, I'm, I'm more a fan of, of partially charged carbon. Uh, it handles partial state of charge. It can sit in a, like a 50% depth of discharge for months and not care. So it's, it's, a, it's a very nice technology. Um, very, very reasonable, and what I would use for our, you know, my family. But again, you can use any battery you want, including no battery. So here is just showing you a little bit of uh, retail price points. Um, you can go as little as, as four batteries, and all the way up to 20 or more batteries, um, and and what the battery bank retail price kind of would would look like. Um, just four batteries is about an 8.5 kilowatt hour battery bank. Those are each 12 volts. You get a 48 48 volt battery bank, um, and you get good you get a good number of cycles out of these at 50 percent depth of discharge. Three year warranty. Uh, they're made in the U.S. Um, and they handle they're great for partial state of charge. And then this is the setup screen for the system. Uh, you can use you can set up the system to either use percent battery charge in its display settings or battery voltage. Um, we find that customers understand battery state of charge better than they understand voltage. So this is what we use mostly. Um, you can use no battery. And then also we have some things for, for lithium batteries uh, that, that allow us to communicate to them. OK, so that's a summary. Uh, tried to make it quick. And uh, let's see. Let's take a look at the questions. Um, your battery amp hour selection stops at 2,000 amp hours. Uh, da, 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 da. OK, so in terms of the battery bank size, uh, this, this particular battery bank uh, that, that's 42.5 kilowatt hours is actually a 900 amp hour battery bank. Um, so that's still a, a very large storage. We, what we find is most customers are happy, you know, for, for backup solutions that if they get about a seven, somewhere around 15 kilowatt hours or more, less than that is, is they're, they're going to be calling their installer and, and complaining why their system shut down, you know, because they don't realize how much power they really use. So, so we find a, greater than a 15 kilowatt hour battery bank for backup purposes, and if they're off-grid or they're serious, then we recommend a 34 kilowatt hour battery bank. $4,000 for the batteries. Okay. Okay. So what, what, feel free to unmute yourself and ask some questions. Let me see if I can bring open this. Okay. I think I've tried to answer. Uh, OK. All right. Um, let's see. Yeah, ours is solid aluminum uh, is what our box is made up of. By the way, we've, we've changed the design just a little bit. Uh, the newer systems uh, mount on the wall and with a French cleat, and they're very easy to mount. Um, so. Uh, do we have battery wiring kits? Yes. So we, we can sell you the, the batteries. Our, our PCC batteries come with interconnect bars, and we can sell you the battery cables as well. Um, so uh, let's see. Battery racking. Um, battery racking, you know, you're welcome. We, we sell battery racking at cost. We're, we're not a big fan of battery racking I, uh, because battery racks cost a huge amount. You're, if you... If you want to put together uh, eight batteries, you can stack them easily like this. Um, otherwise, uh, you you know you can do you can stack them uh, you can just stack them next next to each other. So this is a, a 16 battery bank, or and each one of these is effectively two car batteries. Um, so this this would be a 34 kilowatt hour battery bank. Again, this is no no battery racking here. 
Um, if you want to go vertically, you're, you're basically suspending the weight of a car in the air. And so a, a, a battery rack that can hold uh, 16 to 20 batteries is about $2,000 at cost. So if you want to make this look nice and your customer doesn't care, battery racking looks awesome. If, if, if they're cost, uh, uh, you know, conscious, I, I, I let my batteries just sit on the ground, personally. But, um, and, and you can actually put a, you know, put, put a plywood box over this. They don't, they don't vent, so that's, that's not an issue. Okay, what other questions? Um, can you get a cabinet with countertop and put on top of the batteries? It looks very nice. Um, can you get a cabinet with a countertop? Oh, oh, an enclosure for the batteries. Yes. So we don't have an enclosure for the batteries. Um, maybe that's something we can look into. But I, personally, I would, it, I, I would, I would look at Home Depot or I would look at just building a a plywood box that has an, two open sides that can just slide over the entire battery bank and hide the top and front and sides. That would be the lowest cost battery bank. Um, okay, another question. Are the battery charge settings built in or are they customizable for different batteries? Absolutely customizable. We, we, uh, you, you can set anything you want. Uh, we work with all types of batteries, um, lithium, wet cells, uh, AGMs, doesn't matter. Uh, but it, it's preset for uh, AGMs. Okay, uh, let's see what other questions are there. The, so, any other questions? <laughs> Don't be shy. <laughs> do we have any online? What, okay, the question was, do you have any online web lines? Oh, on your website. Uh, we will soon. Um, so we, we're, we're doing some example one-line diagrams so that uh, in PowerPoint so that you can just take them and use them and edit as you see fit. Those should be there in a couple more days just to make it easier for you to develop your own one-line diagrams. <laughs>